Hello everybody, welcome back Let's go to my... some flavor. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making stuffed cream cheese filling strawberries dipped in chocolate. Stuffed cream cheese. <laughs> okay, so I hope y'all understood what I said. So stuffed cream cheese filling strawberries dipped in chocolate. So first, we're gonna start off with some some dry, cleaned and dried strawberries, and I did take the stem off. So make sure your strawberries is dry because your chocolate will not stick if they are not dry. And yes, I did clean them with vinegar and water. I let them soak a little bit. Y'all clean y'all. That's how y'all want to clean them, but this how I clean mine. But before. We get the stuffing, we gotta make the stuffing. So one second. So I have a thing of cream cheese, which I had sitting out for about 35 minutes. It's soft enough, but make sure it's, you know, soft enough to maneuver in the bowl. Let me make sure you guys can see it good. Okay. I hope y'all can see good like that. So let me get a spoon. Now with this cream cheese, I'm going to be adding, I don't have any vanilla right now, but that's actually fine because I do have some strawberry extract, which is perfect. So I'm just going to mush this. But before we even add the asterisk, I do want to add my sugar, which I'll be using powdered sugar, which is going to be the best sugar to use because it's not gritty and, you know, it'll have it fluffy and a good texture. So we're going to add this and add as much as you want. Make sure you taste it so it can be as sweet as you like. And if you have a mixer, use your mixer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish mixing this and I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I got it nice and whipped and mixed. So now we're going to add our That's strawberry extract. If y'all hear people talking in the background, don't mind that. So yeah, I would suggest you use your mixer because it'll mix easier, but it's just a little bit, so I didn't want to go through all that putting my mixers together and um, and cleaning it out just for this little bit of filling. And it smells so good. It smells like strawberries. Mm, I'm going to add a little more strawberry extract, but you guys, this filling is delicious. You want a little bit more. So that's enough. Because this asterisk actually goes a long way. Okay, so as you can see, our filling is nice and sweet and flavored. So I'll be back for the next part. So you guys, I'm back. Um as you can see, I have strawberries. I just wanted to show you guys the chocolate that I'm using. It's the chocolate I got from Kroger. It was only a dollar a pack. I have the white chocolate in the same brand. And I just went ahead and put it in a bowl to thaw. To not thaw, but melt. Um, let me just show you guys how I do. So, you can use the pack. And they're melting in the pack with hot water, so. But other than that, I went ahead and put the filling inside a Ziploc so we can fill our strawberries. But before we fill them, we have to open them. So I don't have a scooper. So what I'm going to use, let me get another paper plate. But I'm just going to cut out. Oh, Now, if you have a scooper, it'll probably be easier for you, but... I don't have a scooper, so 
Hmm? So I'm just trying to make sure it's enough out that I want out. If y'all hear talking, please ignore it, please. Okay. So as you can see, I did that one. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So I'm back. So I did take the insides out of some of them which were the bigger ones and then the smaller ones i'm just gonna dip regular chocolate and i do have some valentine sprinkles we um that we sell in a bakery store we have here in michigan and i just have some of these which these came from christmas i forgot to get some valentine's one but that is fine um so first i did milk my chocolate i added some milk just to make sure it's how I the consistency I needed so this is just the consistency and I have it sitting in some boiling hot water so that it will not get hard yet um so what we're gonna do first is fill our strawberries so I'm just gonna take not too big mm, maybe about that big and we're gonna fill so Hope you guys can see. I'm just filling them just like that. So just like that. Yep, so I'm just gonna keep filling these and then we're going to dip them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to use a fork to hold them, uh, maybe like, like that, and what I'm going to do is dip them in the chocolate. So I just took it out the bowl in hot water, let's mix it, y'all he playing the game, so please, so we're just going to take our strawberry do the whole thing so y'all don't do what I did because now I gotta try to which is fine but okay so I'm gonna let it drip for a minute y'all I'm being a whole mess right now but it's okay and matter of fact y'all when y'all dip it is make sure y'all got some parchment paper out there Wet paper. Oh, man. So, yeah. So, I made a whole mess. It's okay. So, I'm just going to stick this here. And I'm going to come back. Okay, y'all. So, I'm back. As you can see, I made a whole mess. But, that's, that's okay. I'm going to clean it up more in a minute. But, for the ones that do not have stuffed cream cheese filling we're going to let me mix it up as you can see it's still hot well not hot but so what we're gonna do is take the white kind that i had sitting in hot water and we're going to like kind of like drizzle it if i can do that okay Okay, so let's see if I can, if I can like, okay, so I'm going to take one of the strawberries and I'm going to dip it, I don't know if I can get back up, hold on, because I want to make sure the whole thing is like, okay, that's kind of cute, okay, so It'll be better for y'all to let it drip, but it's okay. I'm trying to like let the excess drip off, but it's just so much. So I want to add a little bit more. Okay, 
and do that again I have one that kind of looked like a heart so I'm going to try that one oh look at that you guys that is so beautiful y'all see that so I'm going to just let this drip as much as I can because yeah those are really dripping but it might be like that. It might be like that because I added milk, but it's okay. We so, and then I'm gonna just go ahead and keep finishing and we'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So this is almost the finished product. This is beginner friendly because this is my first time really being able to do something like this. So this is how they look so far, but I do want to do some last touches. Um, I have some pink that I just melted and cut it just a little bit and I just want to just, it might not look the best, but they gonna taste the best. Okay. So. And then I want to add some sprinkles to this one. And maybe a little bit to this one. So you guys, this is going to be the finished product. These are my Valentine's Day stuffed cream cheese or cheesecake um, strawberries. And I'll be back to show you guys how they look when I bite into them. But this is how they look. I hope you guys try them out. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I hope you guys come back to another video of mine. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay, so I'm back for the last very part. I want to bite into it and show you guys how it looks. So I'm going to go for the smaller one. This one. Not sure. Mmm. So it's actually really good. Cream cheese is coming out. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys tune in again. I hope you guys try this recipe out. Happy Valentine's Day. See you guys in the next video.